I'm going to go through a blue-black uh, deck build, uh, a uh, what would we call the Demir, um, and it's going to have milling in it from the uh, M14 uh, uh, deck builder's toolkit. It clearly comes with a small, this one at least, a small milling selection, so I'm going to magnify that. Uh, I'm going to be playing black and blue, so definitely I'm going to want to use the playset of trans guilds that come with it because... Uh, with this card, it, even though it enters tapped later on, uh, you can um, you can add one mana of any color to your mana pool after it enters tapped. So second the second turn after you put it in. Uh, so I'm gonna definitely put this staff of the Death Magus because it's going to allow me to gain some life uh, when I play black cards. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do right now is go through all of these cards. And just pick out the creatures. Okay. Okay. And then put them in mana order. It's a three drop. Okay. It's a gigantic drop. Three. Another gigantic drop. Some of these cards are really heavy, so I don't see the point of playing them. Except if they mill, of course. Then I'll play them. Okay. Not too happy that Doomblade is now uncommon. Nice uh, rare sliver that I think I must have picked out of the pack itself. This came out of the pack also, the M13 pack, the Sapo of Bolas. So I've got some nice rare pulls. Interesting artwork on this card. Tenacious Dead. There it is, and it came from the selection, from the selection of cards that comes with the toolkit. So I think that's it. And uh, I'm going to play a lot on... Uh, because I'm playing blue, I'm not going to play so many creatures. I'm going to try to disrupt my opponent's hand and uh, try to counter spells. So I'm going to definitely do a lot of sorcery and instant shenanigans. Of course, I've got two, uh, two newts, two vermin, and a tenacious dead. So I'm going to keep all those. Those are low drops, five of them. My two drops, Child of Night, Li Life Link, uh, Knowing Zombie, um, play two and you target player loses one life and you gain one life, not bad. And I think I've got more than one. Actually, I only have one. Walking Corpse, all these two drops are playable. Uh, Three drop, sacrifice or return another creature card from your graveyard. Uh, then the doorkeeper is a milling card. There's two of them. And the drake is a 2 one, three. Very weak. I'm not going to use it. Uh, so there you have it. I'm going to keep all these. And that's seven cards. And then here, if I sacrifice this card, sacrifice another creature, this creature gets plus two, plus two. Not bad. I'm not going to do the Drake. Um, uh, Harbor, Bandit. Unblockable, that's good. The Sliver goes. The Undead Minotaur goes. <clears throat> and Steeler, you can draw a card. So I'm going to keep all these and do a creature count. One, <clears throat> two, three, 
four. So I'm at 13, <clears throat> 14, <clears throat> 15, um, 16, a flyer, 17, 18, because it mills. And 20. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. So that's it. I've got my 20 creatures, and it's because, in this case, when it enters the battlefield, when Archimaster enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. That's pretty good. Because <clears throat> I'm going to do some shenanigans with spells. Uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 24. Got my 24 creatures. I want to use that. So I've got 11 spots. Some removal for sure. And some mine rotting for sure. And maybe some sign in blood. And of course, millstone. Uh, the Tome Scours definitely go in because that's this is a milling deck. Then some counter spell, at least essence scatter, and um, this is a good counter spell also. And this is a milling card, so I want that. Another milling card, and another milling card. Um, I want to be able to draw something, um, and I want to be able to counter a target spell in many ways. It's another milling card, even though it's very heavy, and another milling card, and Tom's Tom Scour, another Mind Rot. And a duress to see if I can pick some things out. Um, not sure about this card, so I'll put it aside. So let's do a count. So I said I had 24 creatures. I've only got 12 spots. Oh, I'm going too too much, so the rest is out. Mine rot, thumbs, anything milling. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. So I'm going to go with the mine rots. I'm not going to do some counter spelling, so it's going to be risky. Uh, I'm not going to gain life with the maggot staff. I'm not going to cancel or cyan blood. I'm not going to use the doom blades uh, because, well, I'm going to consider them. This is, these are tough choices here. So I've got mine rots and doom blades, but I've got a really nice selection of milling. Three, six, nine, ten. Uh, so that gives me 34. I would say eh, go half. One doom blade, one mine uh, rot. And then to take out the second ones. Had some other nice cards, but I think I'm limited to 36. I'm going to do a final count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, 36 cards. At 24 lands, of which four are your transfills, you've got a deck. Let's go through it. Okay, so Tenacious Dead, one of them. Um, when it dies, you may pay two if, if you do return it to the battlefield tapped under your control because you're the owner. Two Vermin, so when it dies, you pay one mana and target player discards a card, not bad. Festering Nude, we don't have the combo that goes with it, so we don't have Bog Brew Witch to hit the minus four, minus four, but it still hits minus one, minus one. Uh, Child of Night's got Lifelink, old school. 
Knowing Zombie, uh, target player loses one life, you gain one life. Walking Course, Vanilla 2-2-2, two, 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 you can't go wrong. Another Vanilla. Uh, then this one, you can return another creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Then th this is the Milling card, Doorkeeper, you pay three. And you tap it, target player puts the top X card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. And with where X is the number of creatures with Defender you control, you only have this card. So it's a limited uh, card, um, but you can play it. Uh, sacrifice another creature, this creature gets plus two, plus two. Harbor Bandit, it's got a little unblockable blue. Uh, Siphon Sliver, very nice card, I'm really glad that I pulled it. Slivers, slivers you control have lifelink, and it's a 4-2-2. Vanilla, Undead Minotaur, 3-2-3. Then Stealer, uh, you can draw a card when it deals combat damage to a player. It's a three drop. The Archeomancer, classic card. Uh, you can get an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, then Vidalcan and Trancer, uh, it's another milling card. Nightwing Shade, Flyer, you know, you, you, it's not bad. I mean, it's a five drop, um, and you can pump it. Uh, but yeah, if you get in trouble and you need flyers, you should at least have a couple of flyers. And here's another one, Death Case Cockatrice. I love the artwork on this card. It's a 4-2-2 two, two with Death Touch and Flying. Not bad. Uh, Dark Revenant, another flyer, 4-drop. When it dies, put, put it on top of its own as library. Disciple of Volus, great card from M13. It's a rare. When it enters the battlefield, sacrifice another creature. You gain X life and draw X card. Where X is that creature's power. Not bad. One Mine Rod, one Doom Blade, because we want to do a tons of milling. Psychic Strike is a counter spell. We got Classic Millstone as an artifact. Uh, three of Tom's uh, Tome Scour uh, with a sorcery. Target player puts the top five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Paranoid Dilutions drops a player for three cards. Uh, but it's got Cypher, so you can do it multiple times. Then Pilfer Plants is a three-drop sorcery. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and you draw two cards. Codex Treader is a single one-drop. Target player puts the top card of his or her library into his or her graveyard. You sacrifice it for five. You can return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, Psychic Spiral as a five-drop. Shuffle all cards from your graveyard into your library. Target player puts that many cards from the top of his or her library into his or her graveyard. That's That could be really nice. Uh, Chorus Confession, a five drop. Target player puts the top four cards um, and you can draw a card for each creature card put into the graveyard. Here are the other Tom Scours. So there you have it, that's the deck.